I'm going to try to move through these notes very fast. I don't want to hold you long, but I just want to kind of just stay in this moment. I like that, that key you was in, right? You know, we went through a, we went through a process. We've been, we've been going through a process, and, and I was, I, there's a popular song, you probably know this song, Sunny days, everybody has them, but tell me, can you stand the rain? Mm. Storms will come, this we know for sure, oh, can you stand the rain? I just want to say it one more time. Sunny days, everybody loves them. But tell me, can you stand the rain? Oh, yeah. We know storms will come. This we know for sure. Can you stand the rain? Cloudy skies, inclement weather, rain, long suffering, drought, misunderstandings, arguments, people coming, people going, the pain, the growth, the failures, the subtraction, the division. It's all a part of the process. But when you're in the process, don't forget the promise. When you are in the process, don't forget the promise. Walk through the promise. Walk with the promise in the process. Walk through the process knowing that God is going to do it. I said walk through the process knowing he's going to do it. He's going to do it. That's what we did. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet. He's not done yet. I said, we're not done yet. He's not done yet. Remember the process. If you remember the, the promise, it will take you through the process. I said, if you remember the, the, the promise while you're in the process, it's going to help you through the process. Man, man, man. You know, and I just, listen, I just, I thank God for examples of faith. You know, this week we got the news. We got the news on Tuesday, and we, I just couldn't wait for Sunday for Pastor to tell that news. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. And I remember at, at home, I forget what day it was this week, but I come by my parents' house, and um, you know, we were just talking about how good God is and talking about the news that we had heard and how Security Federal was going to give us the loan for our, the construction of our new sanctuary. And I remember, <laughs> I remember while driving off, had my window down, I was saying that to my mom. My mom was walking into the house, and I said, Mom, God is so good. And, and there's one thing that I, I have learned from my mother, Pastor Regina Harris. She's a woman of faith, and she puts what she has heard from God, she puts it in the atmosphere. And I've seen so many times her do that. I've seen her do that. And I've learned, I was, I was praising God for the news. And I said to her, God is so good. I was in my car. She was walking toward the house. And I was pulling, I was backing out. And, and, and she just said it nonchalantly. She was walking into the garage. She said, and we're going to burn that mortgage too. <laughs> and then what it did, what it did for me, it, it gave me another praise. I was praising God for what he had just done in the present time. But then as I began to drive off, it got dropped in my spirit. We're going to burn the mortgage, too. So it was a whole new praise. It was a whole new praise. I was in the office. I was in the office when the call came from SRP. And they were telling us, yeah, we know y'all almost got a million dollars. Listen, church, we, I don't know if they mind me telling that. We're in the bank, in the bank, New Life, you, 
You got about a milli sitting in the bank. I'm talking about a milli we can get our hands on and touch. A milli. <laughs> All right? <laughs> and, and, and so, you know what I'm saying? And, but they were trying to say with who we have showing up, and they were trying to create some statistical units and, you know, based on this and on that and, and what churches were doing in the pandemic and they, there's people closing down. And we, it just feels, you know, in our calculator, it looks risky. We know you got about a million. We know, you know, but it just feels risky. Let me tell you something. From Pastor Regina, I'm, I'm just, I was sitting in her office when the call came. It wasn't no woe is me. I'm, I'm telling you what I get to learn on the job training. It wasn't no woe is me. It wasn't no scratching our head. I, Lord, I thought you said it was going to be easy. It wasn't none of that. You know what Pastor Gina said when the lady started talking all the statistical business? She said, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hang your phone up. Thank you. And I was like, er? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And I said, you know what? It's more banks than one. That means God doesn't want to do it with SRP. He wants to do it with another bank. <laughs> and, and, and it was easy. Pastor Gina had the idea. She said, you know, since SRP wanted to point out, they wanted to know a lot of stuff. They wanted to know top givers. They wanted to know all. They was really getting in our business. And so she said, why don't we have the top givers come to church and meet with, we had a representative from Security Fellow whose last name was Moses. His last name was Moses. Came and sat with us. And, you know, I just believe, I just believe, I believe that it was ours from the moment we said thank you to SRP. <laughs> it was ours the moment Mr. Moses pulled onto the property. Because, listen, you don't even have to be in God to know that when you pull up on 3550 Morgan Road that God is with us. Hepzibah. God's the light. <laughs> so, so he pulled up and he saw and then he looked at these people. He looked at you all. It was a no-brainer. I don't know about some of you all who were there. I was sitting there and I was just thanking God. I was like, yep, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. And so when we got the letter, we got the physical letter. Uh, and then what jogged my spirit was, we're going to burn that mortgage. And not, not we got to burn it. Not, now we got to. We're going to burn it. We're going we gonna to burn that mortgage next. Can I tell you something? When you are walking in a process and you remember God's promise, it's going to carry you through that process. And the thing about it is, if you are willing and obedient, our Bible says you will do what? You, what? You, what's going to happen? And, and the thing about the Lord is, you know, what you ask him to do, he does it. But the thing about it is, he does more than you ask him to do. I promise I'm not going to be long. I want to bring your attention to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And in your study time, just read this whole story. Just read that whole chapter. Ooh, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I promise I'm not going to be up here long. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Verse 1. After this, the armies of the Moabites, the Ammonites, and some of the Minutes declared war on Jehoshaphat. I messed their name up. Messengers came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army from Edom is marching against you beyond the Dead Sea. Let's skip to the third. Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged the Lord. He went to the right one, begged the Lord for guidance, he also ordered everyone in Judah to begin fasting. What does Judah mean? Praise. All right, we'll get back to that. So all the people from the towns of Judah gathered in Jerusalem at the temple in the new courtyard. Let's skip to verse 6. 
He prayed, O Lord, God of our ancestors, you alone are the God who is in heaven. You are ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth. You are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. You know, sometimes you got to go to the Lord, butter him up a little bit. Let him know what he is. Let him know, let him know who he is to you. You know, nobody can stand against you. You undefeated. Your record is a million to zero. You, you, you the bomb. Verse 7, oh, our God, did you not drive out those who lived in this land when your people Israel arrived? And did you not give this land forever to the descendants of your friend Abraham? Sometimes you got a name drop when you're praying to the Lord. You got a name drop. You know, it's not cool name dropping in the industry that I'm in. Uh -huh, but you know, when you go to God, sometimes you, you got to just remind him. It's not that he forgot, but, you know, give him praise. That's a form of praise. Remind him of his word. Yeah. All right, so the people began to plead to the Lord. Basically, in the next few verses, they began to plead to the Lord. Oh, Lord, help us, help us. You are only help. We need you. Our ancestors didn't even bother these people. Matter of fact, our ancestors went around these cities, but this is how they want to repay us. They want to take us out, and our ancestors, they didn't even, like, go through there and plummet through there and, and, and just ransack these cities. They went around. They were kind. They left them alone, but now these people want to come at us, and our ancestors didn't bother them. Lord, we need need you we need you this is how they choose to repay us all right so skip to verse 13 as all the men of judah stood before the lord with their little ones their wives the spirit of the lord came upon one of the men the spirit of the lord came upon one of the men his name was jehazel Verse 15, he said, listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours. Skip to 16. Tomorrow, what we're going to do, we're going to march out against them. And, and, and let me just go ahead and just give you the rest of the story. God not only did what Jehoshaphat and, and, and the people of Judah were asking for, but he did more. He did more. And I want to encourage you today that as we are obedient to the Lord and as we are walking with God in this process, let's remember the promise. And as we remember the promise, God is going to bring us to what we've been praying for, but not only what we've been praying for, he's going to give us more. Because our Bible tells us that he'll do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think. And so what I, what I love is that Jehoshaphat and them, they came to God, they were honest, they were like, look, we outnumbered all these people together, the Moabites, Ammonites, all these guys, Munites, we're outnumbered. There's no way on paper. There's no way on paper. SRP said on paper. On paper. It's scary. On paper, it's a risk. On paper. But listen, God says, look, look, I've never lost a battle. Never. I've never lost a battle. I've, gone, I've been with you. I've been with your people. I'm going to be with you. And what he did, he told them, listen, on, the, on tomorrow, we're going to march out there. But listen, we will not even need to fight. It, stand still. Send Judah first. King Jehoshaphat sent people out to praise. And as they begin to sing, their enemies begin to fight each other. Their enemies began to fight one another. The, the enemies fought each other. The allies of the enemy, they, they took all of them out. And when Jehoshaphat and them got over the hill and, and began to look, everyone was dead. Now, here's the thing I want to, I want to get to. You probably heard this passage of Scripture preached many times. But what it is that I would like to remind you of is that not only when you're obedient to God, will he do what you ask for, but he will give you more and change the name of the location you find yourself in. See, there could be a certain uh, a name or something that's over the area you're in where, where, where they say certain things will never happen, where they say you can't get certain things because of where you are. But see, you got to understand the place where those soldiers were laying dead. 
uh, on the place where they laid, God changed the name of the place to the Valley of Blessings. And the Bible says to this day it is known as the Valley of Blessings because that's where God blessed Jehoshaphat and his people. And so then they looked around, and you know, in war, you have spoils, right? You, and, and my Bible tells me that they, it took them three days to gather all of the spoils, all of the things that they were not, that now belonged to them because they had defeated their enemies. It took them three days. Well, look, Jehoshaphat and them didn't even ask for that. There was equipment, there was tools, there was, I mean, look, there was, there was all kind of furniture, there, there was flat screen, 60 inch, uh, you know, we, in, in this time, let's bring it to this time, for the kids, this is for the kids, this is for the kids. There was flat screen, there was PS5s, lace fronts if you like that kind of stuff, Range Rovers, I mean, there was all kind of stuff. Who gonna drive this, this chariot? I didn't even ask for this. I just wanted to win, Lord. I just wanted you to just take out my enemies. He said, not only will I take out your enemies because you came to me, because you prayed to me, because you gave me praise, because you honored me in the process and you remembered the promise, not only will I do what you asked for, but I'm going to do more. I'm going to exceed your expectations. I'm going to give you abundantly more than you can ever think or even ask for. Ooh. Ooh, we thank you, Lord. God will change the name of your area because you praised him and gave thanks. The Bible says it's known as the Valley of Blessings now because they praised him and thanked him. Anybody been praising God and thanking him for something? Jehoshaphat asked God to deliver me from my enemies. God said, I'm going to do that and I'm going to one-up you too. I'm a one up to you. And there was a miracle in him doing that. But also, there was an extra miracle in him giving them increase. They came out of a pandemic. Oh, excuse me. They came out of an epidemic. Increase. They had more. They were elevated. They, they, had, they came out stronger when they went through this process because they never forgot the promise. It took them three days to collect all the plunder. You may have obstacles in your path challenges coming against you in your health relationships finances you 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 may be asking God to turn things around I want you to stay encouraged because God is not only going to bring you out he's going to bring you out better than you were before he's not only going to bring you out but he's going to bring you out better he's going to bring you out wiser he's going to bring you out stronger you're going to be elevated he's going to promote you He's going to allow you to eat in the presence of your enemies. He's going to set a table uh, for you in the presence of your enemies. Don't talk yourself out of it. Praise your way through it. Praise your way through it. Don't talk yourself out of it, but praise your way through it. The man, the, the lame man in, in Acts 3, uh, uh, verse 2, he, he just wanted some coins. He just wanted some coins. He sat there. Uh, they would bring him there and sit him there, and he was asking for coins. All he wanted was coins. But when he was obedient to Peter, Peter came up. Peter and another guy came up, right? Came up and said, hey, man, take up your bed and walk. Silver and gold, I ain't got none of that for you. Take up your bed and walk. And when he was obedient, never walked before. Never walked before. Always just got coins, so that's all he expected. But one day, you need to break out of your normal expectation and just hear God and move. And when you hear God and move, you'll do what you never did before. He got up and walked, took up his bed and walked. Didn't need coins. I can get up and work now. I can get up and work. I got, listen, I got, I got two legs. I don't know if y'all remember when Charlie and, uh, got the golden ticket. And he wanted Grandpa Joe to get with him. And Grandpa Joe, I don't know how they just sat in that bed all them years. I don't know. I just don't know. And Grandpa Joe said, look at me. Up and about. I mean, and they had to catch him sometimes. He was like. <laughs> I never thought that I could be. <laughs> God is going to bless you. And not only will he give you what you prayed for, he's going to give you more. 
I speak new doors opening over your life. I speak increase over your life. I speak promotion that I see coming your way. I see problems turning around for the people of God connected to New Life Ministries. I see health being restored. I see exceeded expectations coming to visit your house. If you receive it, I dare you to open up your mouth, lift up your hands, and give God praise. Hallelujah. New doors are opening. New doors are opening. Increase. Promotion is yours. I speak blessings over your life that you didn't even ask God for. It's just extra. And it's going to take you days to collect all that God has given you because you've been faithful. God said it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. But I tell you what, I declare to you, I declare to you that God is going to do some things in the midst of the building project. In the midst of the building process, he's going to do some things. Some money is going to be subtracted that we're not going to have to pay. There's going to be some things given to us because because it's just our time for that. It's, just, it's what he said. And no matter what the process looks like, no matter if it rains, no matter if the skies are cloudy, no matter if the waves are tossing, no matter if the wind is blowing, I got the promise. I remember the promise. And God said to me, it's going to be easy. So that means it's going to be different from the last building project. No arbitration, none of that. No change orders, none of that. Matter of fact, increase. Matter of fact, increase. Addition, multiplication to me. Someone say addition, multiplication to this house, to my house, to this house, to my house. And I thank God for people who are like David when he said to Nathan, I'm living in a house of cedar and the Lord is under a tent. What you've done for this house, I dare you to receive this. Lift your hands. I can't lay my hands on every one of you, but what you've done for this house, God is going to do that and he's going to multiply it with speed in your house right now in the name of Jesus. If you receive it, give God praise in here. I got a knowing, I got a knowing that somebody is coming to bless this house. Now put your hand on yourself and say, somebody is coming to bless this house, my house. Tell somebody, your house. Yes, yes, yes. Not only do I believe it, but I know there's blessings coming our way because we never stop thinking, because we never stop praising. I said because we never stop praising, because we never stop thinking. And, and, and if you read in, in, in 2 Chronicles 20, when it was done, there were, there were Levites that just shouted out loudly. The scripture says they just begin to shout out loud. I dare you to just open your mouth and give God thanks for what he's already done. See, you can't be cute. You can't be cute. You can't be trying to be cool. Because the blessing that I need God to do Things have been ugly. So I got to give him an ugly praise. I got to be demonstrative. There are some things that I need. Yes! 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 Glory! Give him glory! Give him glory! Give him glory! It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Whew. It's already done with interest. It's already done with interest. 
It's already done with interest. Woo. 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 I dare you to just plant a praise. Plant a praise. You don't, you don't even know what you're thanking him for right now, but thank him because, listen, he's worthy. He's worthy. You don't even know what you're thanking him for right now. You ain't got to know. Just give him a praise. He did more than I ever expected. Oh, he did more than I ever expected. Oh, he did more than I ever expected. He did more more than I ever expected. He did more. He did more than I ever expected. He did more than I ever. I want you to praise your way out of this place. He did more than I ever. He did more than I ever. Take me to the one Take me to the give God praise. Hey, he did it. He did more. Yes, he did than I ever expected. He did more than I. He did more than I ever. When it's all over, you'll be able to say he did. When you look back over your life, he did more than I ever. Everybody put your hands together on the one right here. He did, he did more than I ever expected. He did more, more. He did more. Ooh, I just looked up and I said, He did. And I thank you, Lord. One more time, give God praise right here. Go in peace, saints. Go in peace. You dismiss. But I just, all I ask is that you go out giving God praise. Come on, give Him glory.